Hey there, high fashion doll lovers. My name is Christopher E. Bienvenidos to my channel. And it is officially the first Integrity Toy video of 2023. Round of applause, round of applause, round of applause, round of applause. You know how the saying goes, when it rains, it pours. Well, it poured at Integrity Toys because wow, those deadlines were behind in a hot mess. But either way, I figured it out, I made it happen, um, and we are here today to finally take care of the first doll of the year for me, of course. And you already know who it is, obviously. You've seen the, you've seen the thumbnail, you clicked on this video for it. And here he is, still in his box, because I mean, let's talk about it. I love how the box is mentioning the four cities the dolls are visiting. Um, it would have been nice to like, not have known this image of the box before getting it let me explain um we saw the box w club members when i say we in one of the interviews that the guys had as they were premiering i believe the second doll um but i feel like it would have been a nice surprise to like kind of see this when we got it in person because you know it would have revealed the next cities a little bit better so I guess as I'm saying it out loud, there were missed opportunities, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because it would have been nice to kind of like not know and be surprised and blah, blah, blah. But here we are. And no matter what, I love that it's being mentioned. I love that the uh, country is outlined like a map because it is their love letter. In a way, I was going to say love story. Could be that too. It is their love letter to Italy. So I really appreciate the design in the front. Um, here is the name of the doll. I'm going to get it a little closer for you so you can see it. I hope you saw that because um, I don't have a viewfinder. So I don't, you know, it is what it is. It's a limited edition collaboration. And I'm very happy to announce that I have been extremely fortunate to win all four of the dolls in this capsule collection. Because it is a capsule, it's only four. Um, I need to Google what makes a full collection, doll-wise, because, you know, this is the capsule it's for. Anyway, I digress. So, I look forward. I believe they should all be out this year. I believe. Don't quote me on that. I stop quoting people. You should stop quoting me on timelines. Let's just enjoy them when we get them, shall we? Okay, great. So, if you are new here, let me tell you what I'm about to do. I'm going to unveil the doll for myself for the first time and um give you my honest reaction i have not unboxed this at all just took it out of the shipper box for the video i'm not gonna lie and act like i haven't seen one before kyle has one of you guys before me but it's just it's so much more different when it's yours. I don't know if I've mentioned that before in the channel, but there's just something about it being yours. Even if you've seen someone else's, the connection with what's yours is so different. Anyways, I'm really delaying this strongly. Oh! Wow, to the inside of this box, really blending with your shirt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi, I knew you were there, don't worry. Oh, you know what's crazy? I look at the accessory photos and for some apparent reason, when I get the doll in person, I almost forget that I saw the photo because I'm over here looking at his socks like, oh, they're so cool. And I was like, I think I saw that. And I don't Point is, I think it's one of the beauties of pre-orders, if you allow it to be a beauty, let me say it that way, is that you almost forget. So then when you get it and it arrives, it can go one of two ways. You can be super surprised and excited because you're like, oh, I forgot what it looked like. Or you're like so overweight and you're just like, I don't want it anymore. I usually lean towards the first ladder. I usually get still very excited. Uh, but that's because my process of selecting dolls is very like particular. Anyways, I digress. I'm sure you're just like, show me the damn doll. I get it. I know you want to. Let me show it to you. Okay, great. Well, there he is in his box. Look at that. Hello, beautiful. Okay, great. So excited. So excited. 
so many things are crossing my mind right now. Okay, 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 great. All right, let's give you a breakdown because I don't like unboxing things on camera because it's stressful. So I will go ahead and unbox them off camera. I will come back and show him to you as he is intended. Then I'm doing something new in this video that I've never done with Integrity Toys before. I'm going to go ahead and look at the items one by one and give you kind of like a close up of the details that while they're not on him. So I'm going to show you the doll all dressed on a turntable and I'll try my best not to say much there so that we can look at the items individually a little bit closer. And then for the grand finale, I'll be restyling him in something I've come up with. I've been thinking about this for a very long time. I still don't know what items I'm using, but I know the mood I'm going for. Got it? Mood. It's going to be a mood. So without further ado, let's check him out, shall we? I give you icon. I mean, there's just, oh, let me catch my breath. Taking him out was an experience. This fabric, I wish people can touch it. I wish you can experience it. It literally yells lux, okay? Like, oh, the way that it felt, the way that it looks. Oh, child, okay. Come back, come back, come back. I'm gonna first off, I'm gonna start. Look at that. I can't speak. It's so good. I'm going to calm myself down. I'm going to first start off with <laughs> it's the same thing, honestly. When I saw him for the first time, I was like, Gucci. And I honestly loved the idea of that because I was like, hmm, Italy is known for so many big fashion houses. I wonder if this collection is going to touch on a lot of Look at that. I'm not the only one excited. The car had to honk in my video. Or it threw me off guard. But anyways, anyways, coming back, coming back, coming back. Um, I'm really excited to know, I mean, by now most people in the W Club know what all four dolls look like. So I'm really happy that they did touch on all these like big fashion brands in each doll. Because each doll has a very clear aesthetic of a fashion house without really being an exact design from that fashion house, but still giving homage to it like this is not a look from a gucci runway or at least i don't know it to be if anyone does let me know but i think you know with the colors and the combination it is very similar to the vibe that gucci has been producing lately is what i will say so top to bottom absolutely love it um he's currently wearing everything as it was intended he is missing an earring but that's mostly because i bent it so we won't blame him or them for that that's more for me saying okay and now for the new segment in my integrity toys videos i will undress him and we're gonna take a look at all of the details because honestly there's so many that they need a moment so uh let's go ahead and undress him so we can take a better look at these clothing shall we okay let's get into it first thing is first i want to get to the stand just because i feel like it's a detail that we don't focus on but i really love the fact that they created a different shape that ties into the shapes on the box and i like how small it is you know i like the more rounded although this one on is not round but i like the non-square ones is really what i should say because they take up less space and you're able to kind of if let's say i want to have all four of these although the dresses of two of them is like really big I just feel like this allows for the dolls to be closer on stands than the square ones. So definitely wanted to give the stand its moment because I really do love how small it is and that it's consistent with the shape. And there goes someone talking to my window. Well, so you guys don't already know I live in New York, so it's impossible to mute the streets. Moving on to the work of art. Look at it on camera. Like, just look at how beautiful it is shines and then let's get into this embroidery shall we i mean look at it the little bowty tails right above the armholes on either side that is not one of them but they're right there and then you have the big bow in the back imagine if there was like a 3d bows oh it would have been so much extra more couture but it's okay it's okay we don't need that on small scale what we got is great got the hood detail Ooh, so beautiful. I mean, 
I'm really at a loss of words. And then here's the inside lining, because you know, integrity, beautiful lining, great work. There's a little tag right there. Ah, oh, this is one of those things that I just wish people could feel and touch because it is, that's where the excitement is. It's in, it's in the touch. It's all in the touch. And now let's take a look. And I'm going to leave that there so you could just see it because it's just so beautiful. Take a look at the pants. I really love this style. I love how they have this um overlay. I personally love pants like that. You don't see them very often in America for men. Look at the bow detail coming back from the cape on the pockets. Just beautiful. It's like a wide leg situation. Stunning, stunning, stunning. This outfit, honestly, like, he looks great in it, but the items individually are also so beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Wanted to point this out. A little sad that the bow was not attached to the blouse. I don't know why. I was like, oh, I could just unhook it. But no, this was a separate piece that I'm really sad. I'm going to have to try to tie again if I, not if, when I restyle this, because I will restyle this with someone else. So. If you didn't know, now you know that this is not attached. I don't know why I assumed it was, but it isn't. Get a cute little close-up of the face mask he has. I love that this is actually um, solid. I guess that's the right word. Um, I say that because Jason Wu had face masks for two of his dolls, I think a year ago, and they were like lace. And it just, it wasn't as fun to play with because it, yeah. I think you get where I'm going here. So really happy that this is on the more firm side, I think is what I really should say. Firm, firm. Get a close-up of the bag here. Really excited about using this. Again, details. The shape is being tapped. <laughs> Put the sign so far. Look at that. Look at that. Those are the things that I love about integrity toys is they really do think of all of the details and they tie in everything together in ways that most people might not even notice. So love that. It has a zipper here, but I'm probably not gonna put anything in there. So we don't need to open that, okay? We just don't need to. And last but not least, because I mean, we don't really need a close up of the jewelry. You can see it on the table. Get into these shoes. Get in to these shoes you know i recently wore an emerald green outfit and i bought myself gold shoes for that outfit if i ever do that again i'm wearing black with gold because <sighs> just the most beautiful beautiful styling and while i have him undressed take a close-up of the manicure in his hands because this is a detail that a lot of the ohms do not have so we must look at it if my camera wants to focus, there you go. There goes the hand. Oh, that manicure is not that great, but whatever. I don't do a lot of hand shots anyways. And the feet. Give that a moment, you know, give it a little spotlight because it's not something that we normally see. So let's not ignore it. But yeah, what did you guys think? Isn't it just like, oh, it's like living art. Well, it's not really living, but uh, whatever. You get what I'm saying. So I'm not going to restyle him. I'm not giving you a preview. But I will tell you that the mood is inspired by something on him. Is that a good hint? Yeah, yeah, I think that is. Hmm. So let's get into my restyle, shall we? I give you a restyle. Can you tell that I was inspired by the Wednesday Adams TV show? Because I slightly was. I was also inspired by his nail polish. That was the other thing. So in reality, I wanted to give him some kind of contrast from his original outfit. In his original outfit, all of the colors are like on the darker scale. There's a lot going on with the pink and the emerald and the, and the gold. So I decided I wanted to tone him down a bit so we can just really see him shine. You know, I think it's such a fresh take to see a doll with red hair and a red beard and I really wanted to that I really wanted that <laughs> to be what stood out so I went for something a little bit more chic but also slightly athletic so think of this as your model going to the gym before casting kind of look you know 
I mean, at the end of the day, here's a model rocking what I think would be on a Gucci runway from Italy. So let's stick to those vibes, shall we? Um, sporty, chic, relax. Now, while I was creating this look, I was inspired to uh, also play with something else with his original look that I'm going to show you in a few seconds. I give you a girl rocking the outfit. Now, I didn't originally think of this until like a few things happened in life before this video. A, I saw someone put this cape on a girl, but she was wearing an evening gown underneath. And then B, at the time of me shooting this video, the Miss Universe events are currently happening and Miss Italy had a Venice inspired look. Nothing that looked like this, but she was wearing kind of like a menswear look um, as her national costume. And I was like, what if the truck would stop driving while I was talking? Um, what if I just put the whole outfit from head to toe on a girl? Like, what would it look like? And honestly, I love it. You know, I feel like the colors are very complimentary and the fit is actually pretty good because of the shirt being as like layered as it is. It fits really well under the trousers. Nothing's like slouching. I'm also very happy that this cape is not getting stuck on the cord from the turntables. Shout outs to that because it looks fabulous. Um, so yeah, here's just if anyone was thinking about it. And if not, here you go. Here's what it looks like on a girl. This is an FR body. I don't think this would really work on a new face because of the bust, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think she looks great. You know, I mean... It would be better for Halloween, but we'll take it either way. FR, rocking menswear. Isn't she fabulous? All right, everyone, that concludes today's video. I really hope you enjoyed my restyle and checking out the new section of the video where I'm kind of looking at the clothes a little bit closer, really kind of bringing the fashion forward on the channel for the fashion lovers. And if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like, Place a comment down there and subscribe to the channel if you haven't because there's a lot more videos coming. So I hope you are excited as I am. And make sure to hit that notification so you get notified. I try to keep it on a schedule, but you never know. Life happens sometimes. But until next time, adios!